Welcome to the how to add a static IP address to a Gem2 device using OpenTFTP and DHCP video tutorial. To add a static IP address to a Gem2 device using OpenTFTP and OpenDHCP, you will first need to download the following software in the description box below if you do not have it already installed. Now find the Open DHCP and click on Configure, which will open the Open DHCP server file in a Windows notepad. Next we need to edit the Range Set section to create the DHCP range appropriate to the PC network interface. The interface must have a static IP set on it. For example, the network interface is 10.7.0.1 slash 255.255.255.0 Now we need to edit the DHCP range and uncomment the subnet mask. Save the file and exit notepad. To run the DHCP server, go to Start All Programs Open DHCP Server Run Standalone. If the interface is configured for the address 10.7.0.1, then it will say listening on 10.7.0.1. When the interface is connected and configured, it will be detected and the DHCP server will start working. As devices are connected to the server, their IP address and MAC address can be viewed in the command window that is running the DHCP server. It can also be viewed using the web browser. Now to open the TFTP server. Find the TFTP server and click on Configure. This opens the Open TFTP server MT file in Notepad. Open TFTP server is safe to run on all interfaces, so the only change that needs to be made is the home location that you want to keep GEM firmware and IP address bin files. This should match the folder in Qt JCCP tester, reset slash firmware shared TFTP file path. For example, the folder I use is users Caitlin documents firmware. Save the file and exit notepad. Find the TFTP server and click run standalone. This opens a command window which shows the TFTP server listening on all available interfaces. When files are requested by a device, it will show in the command window. Please note that both OpenDHCP and OpenTFTP must be running when loading static IPs, loading tones or upgrading firmware on a Gem 1 or 2 device using Qt JCCP Tester. Now to load the static IP addresses to the Gem 2 device. Right click on the Qt JCCP Tester icon and run it in administrator mode. Left click the serial number of the device you would like to add the static IP address to. Left click once on the version tab. This version page shows you all the data you require on your TCP IP slave device. Click on reset firmware. Update the TFTP server IP to make sure it is correct. Add the correct file path into shared TFTP file path. Click file save config. Left click flash data. Firstly, ensure the type is set to config. Left click create config file. Set the pop-up box to the following. Type static. IP netmast 10.7.0.25 slash 16. Or alternatively, set this to the IP you wish the gem device to be configured to. Enable JCCP server. Server IP port is 10.7.0.1.19028. Left click save. A file has now been saved in users Caitlin documents firmware. You now need to download this file to the device. Click download file and the config should appear in the main box. The next step is to add this device with its static IP to the network. Please watch the video titled Adding a Device to the DHCP System and follow the comments in the description box below.